Greetings everyone and welcome back to my Spyro the Dragon playthrough. This time we're going on with the final boss, Nasty Nork. And I'm just barely pronouncing the G's there because I don't know if you actually have to pronounce them or what, whatever. I don't, I don't know. So look at that, we've got a round number of gems. And so this level, uh, so, as some of you guys might have told me, like if you've collected all the dragons and uh, gems up to this point, then you will unlock all the phases, phases of this boss. Hence uh, getting the full ending I guess. Like I think he just gets away if you don't get all the all the gems and stuff. So the part before the boss like you have to chase these thieves around and collect their keys to open up like certain levels of the area. So uh, I kind of felt burp coming on there but I didn't come out. Uh, there we go. <laughs> oh god burping is just so filthy. Anyway so this guy okay he's pretty quick and he's the first thief to actually outrun me. But not for long. I was about to flame him there, but I don't know what happened. Okay, so, come on, almost got him. Ah, come on. Yes, there we go. No thief is a match for Jake and his Spyro companion. His purple dragon friend, known as Barney the Dinosaur. Who is not a dragon. Okay, so there's more gems around here. Any, any gems around here? Nope. I think they might have designed this, like... You can't actually, like, run the other way through this place, and, like, you can't... You know, just, like, jump up here. Um, so we got a key, does it open up here? Uh, yes it does, okay, there's another thief. How convenient. You might have no noticed there's another locked platform other than Nasty Gnork's one, so we're going to have to unlock that one first and probably get the final thief from there. And it's kind of amazing seeing these thieves in green rather than blue. I mean, man, this game got balls by changing the colours of everything. Um, so this is pretty much what like, the area you fight Nasty Gnork in, looks like. And this is kind of like a small portion of it. Um, when you actually see the boss, you'll probably be surprised by how you actually fight him. Which is kind of weird, to be honest. Um, is that it? That was it. Okay, so okay, let's open up and chase that guy. So all you have to do is chase him, and it doesn't matter how close you get to him. All you have to do... Okay. What I'm going to do... Okay, during my first run through this place, I'm going to get all the gems. And then, when I actually bother to actually fight him, yeah, I'll try that. So, okay, you kind of just collided with a smashable chest there, I don't know why. And some gems down here. A chest over here, okay, that's good. Um yeah, so what you really have to do is just uh, chase Nasty Gnor for his place. I'm not sure if like you have to hit him along the way or just have to wait for him to get to a certain point. I remember chasing him a lot, like getting three runs through his entire place and actually getting him. But then again when I was a kid I found a lot of things a lot harder than they actually were. I, mean, I used to think that Sonic 3 was actually a pretty difficult game, but that proved me wrong. Anyway, uh, I think you might want to take as many shortcuts as you can for this place without actually killing yourself, so uh, my advice is jump as many corners as you can, but don't get too ballsy. I mean, you might run into some deep doo-doo down there at the bottom. There's not a lot to say during this boss. It's pretty bland, I have to say. Okay. Oh, uh, what's he doing? Whoa! Hey, hey, that's not fair. So I'm not sure if you actually hit him along the way. I think you have to wait for him to get up to that podium and then um, hit him there, like during a weak point or something. I don't know. Or you, or you could just flame him straight away. I, I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, even though I've got this over 15 minute thing going on here, like I still might edit some stuff out if they get boring. Um, I don't know why I didn't flame him there, but okay. Stuff happens. Okay, come on, can I flame him? Yes, I can just flame him straight away. That armor looked like it couldn't have been flamed, but oh well. Okay, so this bit is pretty difficult. You have to get through as quick as possible before these platforms shrink into the wall, so... Just haul ass, that's all I can say. Well, with my English accent, it would be haul ass, but... You know, it sounds kind of weird. Okay, I made that in pretty good record time, so... And that's it. That's the final boss defeated. Congratulations, you've completed Spyro the Dragon. And what's this here? A cutscene? Oh, better, Jake better be quiet. Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Gnork? Nasty Nork? He's toast. So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I still got some treasure to pick up. What will <laughs> you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. <laughs> See, I gotta kick that sheep. 
Uh, those, those animals are just not treated very well. So these are the credits, and I could let you guys listen to it. Um, the thing is, this isn't exactly the end of the game. Ah, uh, there was one thing we have to do left, and what's that? Like, there's no portal there. I don't wonder why. So I think I might skip this. I don't know. There's not much to say over it, and I can't just like be silent. With, like, still a level to go. Oops, did I say too much? I think I did. Yeah, so these are the credits, and you can't actually skip them by just pressing start, so pretty much it's just going to go through like half the levels of the game, and then, actually is it all the levels in the game? I'm not too sure. Let me just see where this goes, we'll give it a chance. Ah, so, Spyro the Dragon, as a playthrough for my channel, the very first playthrough, went very well actually, I was, I was glad I did this game, it was pretty fun, kind of defines me as a kid, so yeah. I'm sure you guys enjoyed this playthrough a lot, um, and I really thank the guy who made a, like, a fan-made intro for my channel, uh, what's it, R3DPill33, there we go, I remembered his name, um, yeah, so check that guy out, he's a pretty cool guy, he made an entire intro for my videos, I mean, I don't really want to use an intro for these videos, because like, yeah, I, I don't really have good reason for that, actually, I should use it, <laughs> yeah. I could just use it for like update videos and stuff like that. Uh, not a lot to say during these credits. I mean, we've all seen this before. and just some nice music going on in the background, which I should let you guys listen to. But you know, Jake just can't be quiet. Seems kind of unprofessional for him to be quiet. But and again, is Jake really doing a professional job with his commentary? Not at all. Oh, I'll take another sip of water. <laughs> a few gnorks, but no sheep. Okay, so returning home, here we go. Why are we returning home? What is considered as Spyro's home? Let's just see. Oh, it's Nasty's world. Okay, so let's just run into this guy here. It's the final dragon, Magnus, which we've already freed before, I don't know why. Nasty's ancient history now. Yes, he is. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard, but the gate will not open until you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. Ooh, there we go. 80 dragons, so I think that makes the 100%, so... Oh, there it opens! And look at that. Um, the inventory, top right, 100%. 12,000 gems, which is over 9,000! And... Wow, 80 dragons. I thought it was 100, but oh well. That's cool, I'll live with that, that's cool. So, Nasty's loot. So this is, as you can guess, a hell of a lot of gems, so this is just really a big collection on level. And they give Spyro a kind of new ability for this level. You can basically fly up to a certain altitude, so when you're in the lower areas of this uh, place, you can kind of fly at that kind of altitude, so about there. But as you get higher on through the level, you'll be able to fly in, like uh, from a much higher place. So we can kind of like fly around here and just see what's around. And okay, Spyro's finally picking up some speed with his flight. Flying feels a bit stiff, but I don't know, it's probably just me. And yeah, something is... Yeah, he's like, he kind of slows down when I go up and then... Yeah, I don't know what's going on, okay. Um, yeah, he's getting lower and lower, jeez. So Spyro doesn't exactly know how to fly at the moment. And there's like, there are these thieves in this level that you have to find and... Like when you find them, they usually have a key, and you'll be able to like access some stairs that lead you up to higher points. But all around this level are tons and tons of like purple and yellow gems. I think the yeah the gems are only purple and yellow in this level, just to make everything seem a lot more you know amazing by you know having those points rack up all the way to the top. Um, so there you go, some lava down there, and Jake can't control for the life of me. Yeah. Something wrong with my um, controller. Anyway. And what was I going to say? Yeah, so for my next playthrough, I probably will be doing Crash Bandicoot. Unless you guys strongly urge me to play something else. Like, which I can get done by Sonic Generations. Um, so that's about a month and a bit. So, 
Yeah. Not too long now. I still haven't pre-ordered the game yet, but well, I forgot the spire is actually flying in this level. There we go. Um. Yeah, the reason I kind of want to play Crash Bandicoot because uh, my friend at school, he's got this little phone that has a PlayStation built in, so I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, so he had Crash Bandicoot on it, and he got stuck on the on the bosses. It's like uh, this blue dog, whatever it's called, and keeps jumping around. And he found it so difficult, and then I said, ha, no problem. And then when I started playing it, I died a few times, got game over. I eventually defeated him. And I just didn't remember that game being so freaking hard. I mean, in the end, it wasn't a hard boss. It was actually pretty damn easy after you figured out its patterns. But, yeah, well. So I think it would actually be a lot more funny if I actually do the whole game for myself. Like, uh, for the channel. So, that's something to look forward to. Jake's next game is Crash Bandicoot. Unless, yes, you get some kind of overpowered fan delivery thing going on. Anyway, so we saw a door down here somewhere. Here we go, and since we've got the key, we can actually open it. Don't worry, you can't get to any other doors for, like, with any other keys, so... If you get one key, you can only open one door at that time. So, can I fly up there? No, I can't. Um, something is a bit off about flying at the moment. It's probably to do with my controller, but... Oh well, Jake, stop moaning about your controller. No one clicks on this video just to hear you moan about your technical difficulties. Okay, so you got another thief here, and uh, he doesn't ha have a, like a set path going around here, does he? Okay, so no problem. Still got his key. It's my key for you and me. <laughs> so this is this is looking to be the final part of my Spyro and Dragon playthrough. Going to be way over 15 minutes, probably about 20. I don't know. I don't really want to watch, have you guys watch my videos for so long, so I'll try and get this level done as quick as possible, but really, is there any rush to me finishing this video? I mean, this is the first playthrough of my channel, which should be somewhat, you know, glorious and stuff like that. I can never think of the right word to say, so, oh well. Ah, so another door here. Oh my god, a thief driving a plane! What, what the hell, madness! So, yeah, now you have to hunt that thief down, and as soon as you get him, I... Do you either get gems or a key? I haven't come across any other doors here, but then again, I have some more flying to do. Um, so this guy, yeah. It seems that when Sparrow goes down, yeah, he actually gets a bit faster, so I don't know what's going on. And hey, I had you on my tail there. Um, okay, just get a bit closer, go on the inner track. Don't fall for that again, Jake! <laughs> Alright, so he's just barely out of reach here. And there we go, what did I get? Yes, I've got a key, so can I open this door here? And yes, I can! This is all working out very, very well. And uh, another plane. So let's just kind of <laughs> charge down here into my death and chase this guy out. Let's just see where he goes. How, how does a thief launch a fly a plane? I mean, just a guy in uh, pilot bandages. I, is he injured or something? He kind of reminds me of that blue guy from Mr. Men. Uh, Mr. Bumpy, whatever, he, whatever he's called, Mr. Accident. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you call someone Mr. Accident? That's pretty insulting. Anyway, uh, so this firework should light up and off to a certain chest. This is this one. Oh, let's go down to that one, okay. And I can't really get up there at the moment, let alone actually hit that firework, so just get whatever gems we can from here. Oh man, look at all those gems. And can I go up there? Probably, yes, I can. Alright, have I been down here? Yes, I have. <laughs> that was the one I just came out of, okay. And up there is the end of the level. How many? Okay, 2,000 gems in this level. Jesus. Yeah, that's a hell of a lot of gems. Um, so, firework here. Any. Oh, sorry. Any other fireworks? I don't know. You know, naturally, I don't play games this slow. It's just that when I'm recording, I don't. I don't want to have you guys, like, watch me backtrack for stuff. So, I try to get everything, like, try to be as careful as possible so I don't really miss anything and try to get everything in one go. So. I'm guessing the thief has restarted his revolution around his lap, so I'm gonna go all the way back up to the top and what are the chances that he's back there? Yes he is, okay, good. Um we can start off the same way again, so let's just chase this guy and see where he goes and don't get distracted by pretty fireworks and nice glamorous gems. Okay, so nearly at 15 minutes here, but you know what, who gives a damn? <laughs> Jake can upload whatever he wants for how long he wants. And am I meant to get him like Within that one lap, I mean, that's pretty difficult. Um, I might have to go around the other way. Okay, we'll just try this lap once more, and then, yes, if I do miss him again, I'm just gonna have to go around like the opposite way. 
Um, yeah, I'm guessing that's pretty much what you have to do. Okay, so let him have like set off there and make a U-turn, and let's just see what's down here. Will I run into him? Probably, hopefully. Unless he can make like some sharp U-turn by well, like during flying. So I don't think that's actually possible. Unless, unless this guy's actually using hacks. So okay, um, I think he's kind of figured out my plan way before I actually came to be. And oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't know how that happened. Is it even possible to catch up to this guy? Unless my control is actually trying to slow me down somehow, I don't know. And if you press X, yeah, the sparrow just flaps its wings, what the hell? <sighs> what the hell's going on? Okay, I think this is possible, as long as I don't go up and down too much, and then the sparrow kind of maintains this uh, forward momentum, so... Yeah, this is actually... Uh, seems doable, but, you know, I'm having no progress here, so... Oh, it's actually pretty close there. And... Okay, maybe like, if I like cut some corners around here, I'll actually be able to get to him pretty quickly. Um, I just keep like, tapping the circle. Hopefully, I should get him. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Come on, please, 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 please. Yeah, there we go. Got his key, and he's up here. I, uh, hey, hey, come on! I came down from that high. I should be able to go back up there. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to go up the stairs like the fat man I am. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not fat. And. Why did I bother mentioning that? Eh? So, what's in here? Is there another plane? Probably, no. Just 10 gems. Okay, so now that you're up here, you've actually gained a new height, so... Uh, you can fly much higher, so... It's probably the highest you can get in the entire level. No amount of marijuana can get you higher, so just be happy with what you got. And, okay, so... Light this firework. To open up that chest. So, where's the firework that opens up that chest over there? Probably next to the end of the level, actually. Oh my god, look at all those gems. Okay, so down here, I remember there being a hell of a lot of gems down here. So purple, purple, blah, blah, oh my god. And then, look at that, it's a nice portrait of, uh, I was about to say Ganondorf, but yeah, it's Nasty Norik. And look at all those purple gems. Oh my god, I'm swimming in money. Quite literally, okay. So this is pretty much the high point of any, you know, collecting addict's life. Just look at all those gems and I still have to figure out how to open up that damn chest down here. Where did I miss a firework? Oh, this is one of the easiest parts of the level. Is there a firework around here? No, no, no. Oh, there it is. How could I forget? You missed the firework. Hey, I kind of missed you there by accident. Ah, there we go. Alright, well done, Jake, for a stunning you know, a memorable end to play through. Am I gonna get hit? Oh, there we go. Actually, let her kind of... I doubt so. So, there we go. That's all the gems of this level. And if you, you know, just leave the level like this, you get the remainder of the credits. So, is it? Is it the credits? Pyro the dragon. Hmm. You've defeated Ganasty Ganork, collected the dragon nice shades. Eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the <laughs> dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. <laughs> you know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, <laughs> in spite of his mystical nature, was a Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Here we go again. Why are they playing basketball with the sheep? That's so... <laughs> animal cruelty. Oh my god. Insomniac game. So there we go. That's the end of the game. These are the last credits and there's absolutely nothing more after this. And I don't know why they showed the dragons getting turned into stone again. I think you could go back through the game getting all the dragons again. I'm not sure. I never really checked. But yep, that's it for the entire game. Had fun playing this and I'm pretty sure you guys had fun pretty sure you guys had fun watching it I sure as hell had fun like uh, you know doing the commentary for this it kind of suited my commentary if that makes any sense to you and what else can I say special thanks to Jake for making the video <laughs> oh thank you oh, thank you and um, yeah so yeah look out for my Crash Bandicoot playthrough next and I think this is a good point to end the video with my commentary so 
you guys can carry on watching the credits, but I'm just going to shut off here. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.